Uh, greetings Aquarius and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. My name is Ingrid and I am doing this extension reading uh, that I did already today and posted and this is a uh, phase two and you come into the cards as you see yourself is uh, the fool, uh, the zero, there's a new beginning. Um, uh, you're uh, taking this leap of faith and you've got strength as the um, card, the major arcana, as uh, this help or what challenges this new beginning. But you're going to tame that inner uh, um, beast, that inner instincts to know how to move forward with beginner's mind. Just to start afresh, uh, you're ready to do that. You're uh, closing out an old cycle with your hope and fear here with uh, the universe, which is the world. And uh, at the foundation of this uh, energy, of this reading, is temperance, because you're uh, needing to balance your emotions to really alchemize and blend uh, different aspects of yourself with strength and courage and self-understanding and knowing how to calibrate uh, your a sense of just diving forward uh, like the fool but also with knowing from that higher power that you will be blessed, that you will be moving toward what is really uh, going to bring you that uh, inner strength, that ability to feel very confident in your own unique ability to manage yourself. And you've got temperance there also suggesting at the foundation you are balancing. Uh, you're coming into this understanding of yourself and your emotions and by alchemizing and maybe taking parts of yourself that you didn't think were that valuable or uh, that worthy. But now you're uh, seeing through these processes uh, that you will um, uh, come into this sense of goal, this beauty, this fulfillment, this completion, this new uh, person. Totally, maybe you'll just feel brand new after this process, but you're going to see something in the recent past because you saw it with clarity um, and you got the truth about a situation about this that maybe uh, you had to use a lot of strength and a bravery and courage to understand it's time to take this leap to move forward um, and to see it clearly because at the a crown, your higher power wants you to know that uh, there is the eight of swords. You could be feeling that there was, through this clarity, you had to see that maybe people were interfering with your mind. And that's why you're going forward with strength and courage and you know you can um, balance and change and adapt and be something totally new, a new personality, a new, uh, way of seeing yourself and you're moving away from any feeling of isolation of feeling like you're all alone mentally in uh, this new beginning and but you will move you're moving away from that quickly with the wheel of fortune it's coming now and uh, you have this sense of momentum of good luck of uh, you're ending some old karmic cycle and it's going to call, um, take a lot of strength and a whole new beginning. And also to balance your emotions at this time because there's a lot of mental uh, uh, change coming with the truth, uh, with clarity. And you're letting go of any kind of imprisonment, whether it was on your own mental conflict or others' interference with you. But this wheel is moving you quickly um, toward a fate, toward fortune, toward a new destiny. And you're going to take authority over that with the King of Swords. Uh, you're going to look at this uh, Eight of Swords with the facts and say, well, am I really uh, this imprisoned or am I making this up because of my negative uh, view of myself and of my mind? And now I'm going to take a new beginning have a new uh, perspective on myself, on my worth, on my ability to manage and move forward toward my truth with clarity and strength and balance. And um, 
what is coming now is a new destiny, a new life ahead. Something's moving and changing. You're having an upgrade. Maybe you're moving up to a whole new a timeline, a whole new spiritual uh, uh, journey because with the tarot, the fool is the beginning and you're uh, coming to a completion uh, here with the closing out of the universe, the alignment of the chakras. And you're seeing uh, this new beginning with the facts, the truth, with your intelligence. You're knowing it's time. You are taking authority over this uh, leap of faith. And the environment around you is the queen of, of pentacles. This could be uh, this energy of the earth. And that is going to nurture you. Uh, someone or some energy around you is very nurturing, uh, very uh, wealthy, or very uh, able to manage money and be generous uh, with uh, their time, with uh, their comments, with their uh, a nurturing of uh, investments, of, of gardens, of the earth itself and self-care, but there's a, that energy around you as you come into this reading, and this is uh, the reading we're going to be deepening. And then your hope and fear is that uh, Aquarius, that you will close out this old cycle, um, that you will come into the universe. It's not only a closing out the world, it's closing out the universe. You're uh, vibrating at a whole different level. And uh, the universe moves to the uh, fool, so you're, you're having the end, uh, and then that leads to a new beginning. And the advice is to retreat. Well, the advice is to move toward this, to go toward your true passion. Uh, to, you see how it's a similar ground that the fool is walking into this environment. Uh, you've got the path set ahead uh, toward the moon, uh, toward the blue moon. That's uh, a moon that happens a full moon t uh, twice in a month. But there is a blue moon, um, Aquarius, you're moving toward. You've had a change of heart. You've given a lot uh, to this uh, situation. You're closing out and you're moving on toward the fool, toward the beginning. And so you start uh, with this, uh, the fool is an Aquarius type energy, and that's you. Uh, you're stepping out. And what is going to help you is that inner strength, that inner un ability to uh, calibrate your instincts, um, to know when to uh, go out and when to come in, uh, to know how to tame your, those forces within you. And, you have also temperance. That is another card of balance and blending and alchemizing, but that is more in terms of your emotion. And strength is in terms of your willpower, your discipline, your uh, ability to uh, uh, calibrate and uh, your energies. And you've got the temperance of balance and blending different emotions. Um, with your intuition and knowing how to transform yourself into something uh, so that you're ready for this beginning, this new beginning. And you've recently gotten clarity from your mind from that Aquarius mental capacity to see the truth and to take that offering that is being given from the a spirit realm, from the realm of error, and you're going to cut through what is uh, isolating you, that is interfering with you, that is uh, no longer working, and is making you feel imprisoned, um, maybe in your own mind, overthinking this beginning. But you're going to take action now and move quickly uh, uh, toward uh, this wheel, toward a whole new, brand new destiny. And it's coming. You might not even see it coming, but you're going to move from isolation to uh, this new uh, good luck uh, to, uh, from a kind of feeling of mental prison uh, to freedom and a whole new opportunity of fate, good luck. 
and it's coming because you're looking at this beginning with a lot of authority. You're taking authority over that fool within you to stay, start this a spiritual journey by looking at the facts, by evaluating, by doing an analysis of where you are going and where you have been, what you're closing out, and what your uh, fate is moving you toward. And the environment is nurturing uh, you uh, both financially and with uh, physical energies of grounding, of boundaries, of um, abundance, of nature, of uh, fertility, being very fertile in whatever it is this new beginning is, uh, the environment is going to support that. Um, somebody particularly could be the queen of pentacles, that's a, a Taurus energy. Um, because we have the beginning with the fool is uh, that Aquarius type energy. And then strength is Leo, something of the fire, of the sun, of the lion. And then temperance is Sagittarius energy. That could be important a placement, Aquarius, in your chart. And clarity is of the mind, of the air. And another, the eight of swords and the eight of cups. So you are moving toward closing out an old cycle. But closing out, out the universe, it's like a whole new reality you're going into. And it's going to be uh, monumental, uh, uh, transformational. And you're retreating, you're moving toward that new destiny. And so uh, we're going to deepen this with why is the uh, fool here? What is it that um, Aquarius, I, you need to know about the fool? And I think I'm going to use this other deck. Uh, this is the Art Nouveau Tarot. So why is the fool here? What is this beginning, this leap of faith, this beginner's mind, uh, this new spiritual journey uh, This uh, you're moving toward? It's coming because of a celebration, the Four of Wands. It could be an announcement of um, just a, a celebration, a rite of passage. You come to the finish line, and that is leading to this new beginning. But it's going to be celebrated. Whatever you're moving out toward and beginning and leaping toward with faith, it's going to bring you celebration and a very inspired, happy uh, time of expansion, growth, a new, a new world, a new reality, uh, a new upgrade into a, a, like a kind of life you might never have imagined. And you're using your strength and that uh, lion, that inner discipline uh, to start this beginning because of uh, the king of wands will, yes, you're going to go out with fiery confidence uh, with uh, this energy of a Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries energy. And you've got a lot of fire here with the four of wands and the king of wands. So you're going to celebrate this new beginning, this entrepreneurial leap, this trust in the universe of following your higher power and knowing it will be successful and recognized and um, you will move toward your vision with leadership and confidence. And uh, you're balancing with temperance at the foundation of this. Uh, how are you blending? What are you taking time to uh, work with, to, to channel, uh, to move toward? And it's the king of swords again well, you're getting um, truth and clarity and taking authority uh, over whatever this inner process of alchemy is. You're going to use your intelligence. Uh, you're a very intelligent sign, Aquarius. And so you're going to use that emotional stability. But you're going to come to emotional stability with uh, intelligence, with IQ, with looking at the uh, uh, facts with getting the details um, of this process you're undergoing. And uh, you're getting clarity on it because of uh, resting, praying, meditation. 
is very important in the past to get the clarity. And that's something that you will be using um, to help you move forward, to move out of this isolation because you're resting a healing, but you're getting clarity and figuring out, uh, well, how do I get out of this prison of my mind? How do I stop being um, self-sabotaging? How do I allow the crown to receive uh, this wisdom and clarity? Uh, because what you're uh, seeing is um, the Two of Cups. Well, you're moving away from a kind of uh, interference with this partnership, with this union. Uh, you could have felt isolated in a union, in a partnership, or feeling uh, that you were being interfered with mentally in this, um, the way you were thinking about coming together with a divine uh, counterpart. But you're moving toward that. You're getting clarity about uh, whatever this uh, feeling of someone that's coming in at the crown. Uh, you're, uh, it's moving you toward uh, getting mental clarity at some point because you're moving toward good luck to a new a possibility, a new opportunity, a new karmic cycle. Because you're moving away uh, from any kind of uh, union or partnership uh, that was isolating you or infringing on your mind. And you're moving quickly away because these are both uh, cards of movement. <clears throat> You're moving toward good fortune, a safety. You're taking your inner child away from troubled waters so you can heal and um, take your mind back because this is going from the, uh, this is the eight to the six. So you're moving away uh, because you're saying, I don't like this mentally. This is not what I want to be in. And so you're going to move and let the wheel turn. And you're going to take authority over this new beginning that you're going to celebrate. And it's coming because of um, the energy of the King of Swords is coming with the Six of Pentacles. Well, this is a card of um, balanced uh, finances, balanced uh, equal give and take, of feeling like whatever the work you're doing, you're getting paid for that. You're taking authority over your wealth, over how you uh, receive um, this generosity and inheritance. Um, and that is going to help you take this new beginning. You could have been in the helping professions, uh, using your intelligence to balance out, to know you have a lot of uh, abilities and will be recognized financially. And then some energy around you in your environment is helping you to nurture of this wealth with authority, with mental clarity. And it's coming because of the a queen of swords. Well, you're getting the truth about some um, nurturing queen of pentacles energy. You're seeing it maybe truthfully for the first time. This kind of Taurus energy. <clears throat> of abundance, of um, wealth, of security. And you're moving toward maybe this is reciprocity and getting some clarity and uh, authority over the, what is the work you're doing and getting uh, maybe paid uh, for that new beginning, the celebration, for that entrepreneurial idea that you're working on with a lot of strength and discipline. Um, there is a lot of king uh, energy here with the king of, of swords and the king of wands and the king of um, <clears throat> swords twice. And now we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of um, swords. So that's a queen of pentacles is the Taurus energy and the queen of swords is Aquarius energy. But there is that nurturing of your mind, of the truth, um, and also nurturing your security and your wealth. And that is going to help you come to this hope and fear of closing out 
of this uh, phase of your life with success. It is not only closing out the world, it's closing out the universe. So you're going into a whole new um, a dimension. And you're coming in there now because of uh, the chariot, where well, you're moving quickly uh, toward uh, closing this out with triumph. And this is cancer energy, and uh, the universe is that sense of a completion, uh, the world itself. And you're moving toward uh, that quickly with a lot of uh, ability to um, uh, take your willpower and close this out successfully. Uh, Come to the completion. Um, be the closer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the d retreat is saying the advice is to move toward your true destiny, toward that spiritual uh, purpose, your true mission, your soul mission. And you're moving toward that because you're uh, learning to be flexible and balanced and adapting to these changes. And the changes are coming, and they're uh, coming quickly. But you're going to be flexible with your finances, with your time, with uh, working one maybe one job here and working another. But you're retreating as you change and adapt toward what is going to be more fulfilling of your heart and going toward your true oh, wish come true. And uh, that is what I have for you. Uh, and you're working hard at this at the foundation and getting recognition on your craft and being flexible and it's coming and it's going to bring you a lot of wealth and security and stability whatever this uh new beginning is that you're celebrating uh, it's coming uh in and it's coming now and it's coming quickly because you are uh, going to close out uh, this cycle and move forward uh, with willpower, with that solar plexus energy, with belief in yourself, with integrity. And uh, uh, that is what I have for my Aquarius. And just to get clarity on, as you retreat and juggle and balance these changes, oh, what is it that you will need to take with you on this new journey? Um, well, the Queen of Cups. You've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So as you move toward uh, and retreat, you're going deeper into your intuition. So you're gonna deeply uh, take your intuition with you to know how to juggle and be flexible and adaptable as you move into this change that will lead to a new beginning. And it's gonna take you into a whole new a portal, the 1111 portal of celebration, of fulfillment. And that's what I have, Aquarius. So I hope you can uh, put the first reading I did together. I've already posted it and this one. And to get this comprehensive energy of where you are going now with this new beginning and closing out uh, an old cycle and wherever your heart uh, has felt like it's come to uh, a, a need to move on toward what is true for you, what is really following your intuition and psychic abilities uh, and you're going to be flexible and very successful with that work and see you next time and sending you love aquarius wherever you are and please subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave your comments right now uh, that's how i keep doing these readings and so it is bye bye